William and his friends were pretending to be Robin Hood. Bullseye! The winner is William! William Hood! cheered his friends. There was an apple for the winner and for everyone else too. They all shared the prize. I don't like sharing. All apples around here belong to me, sneered the school bully. If I was really like Robin Hood, I'd make the bully give our apples back, thought William. So, he made a wish. William Hood heard a cry for help. No, no, don't take our apples, cried Marion. You don't need more than a call. I'm having the rest, laughed the wicked bully of Nottingham. I'll summon my merry friends. And they all set off for the bully of Nottingham's castle. Bye-bye. No outlaws allowed! By order of his mean horribleness, the bully of Nottingham! How do we get past him? I know! And William wished... for rain! No! I can't move! creaked the guard. I'm all rusted up! Inside the castle, William could hear the sound of apples being munched. Halt! said the second guard. No riffraff, no rabble, no red boots. William wished for a magnet. Oh, 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 oh no armor, oh no, wailed the guard. <laughs> the sound of munching grew louder and the guards grew larger. Halt, you're not going any further. William wished again. This arrow will show you where to go, laughed William. And it did. <laughs> the sound of munching was coming from the apple-scoffing bully of Nottingham. Give back the apples! Make me! If I have to. Good with a sword, are you? No, no said William, wishing. I prefer feather dusters. Yeah! Ha ha! I'm ticklish! Giggled the bully. Don't tickle! I give up! I take the apples! Anything! Stop tickling me! So William and his merry friends gave back all the apples, and William got a special thank you. Oh! <laughs> I'm waiting for my apple, said the bully. Just then William remembered the feather in his hat, and he used it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I give up! <laughs> and so all the children got their apples back. I can be like Robin Hood even without my wish, Wellingtons. William was playing with his pirate ship. It's a ship full of pirates and sea dogs, Barkshaw, said William. Oh! Oh no! Oh, you're not a sea dog! Oh, stop it! Oh no! You've sunk it! William wondered how to get his boat back, and then he remembered his old friend, the pirate. He'd know what to do. William made a wish. William was in a boat. Welcome aboard, me hearty, said the pirate. Where's your ship? Sunk to the bottom of the sea. Oh, let's find it, said William. I know. And he made a wish. All aboard my submarine! Aye, aye, Captain, said the pirate. Hmm, I can't see your ship, said William, peering through the periscope. Oh, just fish, all over the place. Oh! Ah, 
I found it! Where? Over there! Well done, lad! William put on a diving suit. So did the pirate. And the parrot. Oh, there's a big hole in the side. Your ship is really wrecked. Oh, what do we do about that? I haven't a clue. Eight legs against one, that's not fair! Ugh. Are you all right? I was scared. <laughs> you sat on me, but all's forgiven. If you want some help, I'll call my fish friends. First of all, we need a fish to cut these planks, said William. A swordfish! <laughs> now, we need a fish to nail them in place. Oh, well done! <gasps> a hammerhead shark! Ah, we're all ship now, so hoist the sails, my eight-handed mate! <laughs> The only problem now is that we should be on top of the sea and not underneath it. What we need is bubbles, said William, wishing. Big ones! The submarine made a huge bubble with its propeller and the pirate ship bobbed up to the surface. Goodbye! Well done, William! Oh no, my flag! It's been munched by mackerel, torn by tuna, shredded by sharks! I can fix that, laughed William, wishing again. <laughs> ah, how can I ever thank you for what you've done? asked the pirate. Maybe you could feed the fish, said William. Goodbye, Captain. Farewell! Back home again, William rescued his own boat. Ha! I didn't even need a wish, he thought. But it's a good thing I'm wearing my Wellingtons. William and his mother were at the circus. I can't wait for the clowns, said William. Then he saw a clown, a sad clown, a miserable clown. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? I've forgotten how to laugh, so how can I make other people laugh? I'm no use as a clown. Oh, that's terrible, said William. I've got to help you. So William made a wish. Look! William the Clown, here to make you laugh! Ha! Ah! Now what me be a donkey! Eeyaw! Eeyaw! Ha! Or a chicken! Hey! I Hey, that's an idea! Monkeys! They're really funny! I bet you laugh at this! Monkey tricks! But the clown didn't laugh. He didn't laugh at all. William thought hard. What will make him laugh? Puppets! Puppets make you laugh! So, William wished. Roll up! Roll up! For the amazing William and Berkshire Show! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Clown, said Puppet William. I've got some lovely sausages for my tea. Now you tell me if Berkshire tries to steal my sausages. I'm still not laughing. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't! No, you don't! Ah! Hey, stop! Where have you gone? Behind you! Come back here at once! Over there! Hey! Don't steal my sausages! Come on! Oh, no! Where are you? Oh, help! Give me back my sausages! Oh, now that was funny, said William, crawling out from the puppet tent. 
but the clown was still sad, so William had another idea. Come on, he said, I know the funniest place of all, the Hall of Mirrors. Ha. Oh, look at me. I'm wide and I'm long and I've gone all wrong. Ha. 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 Now look at you. Oh, William couldn't stop laughing. So he didn't see Barkshaw. He saw big teeth. He saw a monster. <gasps> Help! wailed William. As William started to run, the monkey finished a banana. Whoops! said William. Watch out! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> it wasn't a monster at all. It was you, Barkshaw. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> Thank you, William. <laughs> you made me laugh and give me an idea. Inside the big top, everyone was waiting for the clown. He came into the circus ring and slipped on a banana skin. A custard pie fell on his head and the children cheered. Oh, thank you! They wouldn't be laughing if it hadn't been for me, William chuckled. Me and my wish Wellingtons! William was playing with the sand in his garden. So was Barkshaw. Oh, stop it! No, oh, there isn't room for both of us! In the desert there's lots of space and sand. William wished for a desert. Look at all this sand! Ooh, it's cool! Oh, and it's hot! I can build a sandcastle with walls and towers and flags! <laughs> now all I need is some water for the moat. Oh! What's that? Oh! You can get water from my oasis, said the little camel, bursting into tears. But I've lost it! Oh, don't worry, said William. I'll help you find it. So William and the little camel went to look for the oasis. But it wasn't easy to find. Oh, dear. We're back where we started. We need to be high up. Then we could see. William made a wish, and his sandcastle grew and grew. Oh, we'll be able to see for miles from the top. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, oh, no. He wished again. Ooh, this pyramid's much better, said the camel. Yes. You can see the ice cream shop from here. Oh, let's go! Sometimes in the desert you see things that aren't really there. We call them mirages. But this looks real, replied William. The oh no, it was a mirage. But I'd still like an ice cream. Two raspberry lollies, please. Ah. Oh, no, they're melting. Ah, can we have ice creams instead? Thank you. <laughs> Yo, oh, watch out. Sandstorm. Oh, sand stuck in my mouth. Oh, we need water. Then go to the oasis, said the ice cream man. Oh, that's my home, said the little camel. Let's go. It's a long walk, warned the ice cream seller. And it was. I wish I had a bicycle, said William. Oh no, that doesn't work. A helicopter would get us there in no time. Oh, but it's blowing all the sand at us. That's no good either. Oh. I know. Camels are called ships of the desert. In no time at all, William and the little camel were sailing to the oasis. That's my home, said the little camel. I've got to go home too. But 
my boots won't work. Must be the sand. Ah, oh, there, that's better. Goodbye. Goodbye. Back at home, Barkshaw was having problems with the sand too. Oh, that itchy sand gets everywhere, said William. And there's nothing you can do, even if you have wish wellingtons. William's mother was reading William a bedtime story. The king saw the genie's magic lamp. It's mine, 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 he laughed with delight. And it's late, 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 said William's mother. I'll finish the story tomorrow. Sleep well, William. Hmm, how can I sleep well if I don't know what happened to the lamp? And what about the genie? Oh, he'll be upset, won't he? I know, I'll go and find out. So William made a wish. Whoa, this magic blanket is just as good as a flying carpet, thought William, as he soared across the sky. And in no time at all, he had arrived at a mysterious cave. But where was the genie? Where are you? Stuck up here! grumbled the glum genie. Oh, never mind, I'll help you find your lamp, said William. What can you do? Everything! I'm the genie of the boots! I want a lamp to live in. Oh, that's easy! No, not that sort. Well, I'll try again, said William. Where's he gone? In here! And I don't like it! It's even worse! Get me out! Oh, oh, wander out! Oh, maybe I should let you choose, said William, wishing again. Oh no, none of those. All I want is my old lamp back. The king's got that, said William. We'll fly to his palace. Oh no, it's too dangerous, wailed the genie. As soon as it gets dark, it gets into a terrible temper. Watch out, the guard will see us. William made a wish. And the guard was gone. <laughs> Inside the palace, William and the genie could hear how angry the king was. Oh, that's him, whispered the genie. The king was trying to read and was grumbling a great deal. That's my lamp! But how can we get it? <clears throat> What's wrong, Your Majesty? asked William. Oh, this lamp doesn't give enough light. I can't read a word. Oh. Well, would you swap it for this lovely new lamp? asked William. Oh, this is much better. Now I can finish my book. Here's your lamp, Genie. Now everyone's happy. Goodbye. William thought, magic lamps are all very well, but they're not as good as Wish Wellington's. <laughs> William's teacher was telling the class about dinosaurs. I want a dinosaur as a pet, said William. <laughs> I'm sorry, William, laughed the teacher. That's impossible. I think a pet dinosaur would be fun, thought William. And nothing's impossible when you've got Wish Wellingtons. So, William wished for a dinosaur. Oh, 
Oh, you're big, gasped William. And I'm hungry, roared the Tyrannosaurus rudely. What do you like to eat? Meat. You can have my sandwich if you like. Yeah. And I want more, more, more. Come on, let's see what we can find. But if you're rude again, I'm going to call you Tyrannomorus. William's friends were eating their lunch. Give me more, more, more. <laughs> I don't think there is any more, said William. More, more, more. No, there isn't any more. Oh, oh stop following me. D go away. Help, you're just too rude and greedy. I wish I had a different dinosaur that didn't eat meat at all. And there was a Diplodocus. Oh yes, that's better, said William. Come on, you just like to nibble a few leaves and a bit of a branch. Oh yes, I think we're going to be great friends. <laughs> No, stop looking at that hedge. Oh! Oh no, stop! Oh! Oh no! Please stop, we'll be in trouble. Come on, you dippy diplodocus. Oh, I thought it was an earthquake, said the lady. No, it's just a dinosaur. Here. Oh, a stuck dinosaur. I'm sorry, Dippy. You hedge-guzzling dinos are just too much trouble. I need a friendly, funny dinosaur. Oh, hello. Uh, 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 oh, no, no, stop it, Tickles. <laughs> William's new dinosaur was a baby triceratops called Trisha. She was a perfect pet. She was friendly to everyone. She could fetch sticks. She could dig holes in the garden. This is fun, isn't it, Trisha? said William. Isn't it? Yes and no, sighed Trisha. I do miss all my dinosaur friends. Oh, do you want to go back to them? If I could. So, William wished her home. Never mind, Barkshaw. I've still got you and my wish, Wellingtons. William and his mother were at the zoo. Stop teasing the animals, said William's mother. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean any harm, said William. Can we go and find the tigers now? Where are they? Ah, there's a tiger. No, she's a lioness. Tigers have stripes. You won't see a tiger that's not stripy. I bet I could, thought William as he made a wish. William was in the jungle. Now, where are the tigers? I know. I look for footprints. Who's a silly boy then? Squawked the parrot. <laughs> You can't walk in the jungle, it's too thick. Ah, even the monkeys know that. Oh, that looks fun, thought William. And he made a wish. William of the Apes! Ah, oh, it is fun! Oh, oh no! Who's this? Hissed the snake. Oh, just me looking for a tiger! William replied. Yeah, I'm a tiger, growled the tiger. Or I used to be. Oh, but now I've lost my stripes. Where? In the clearing. 
Oh dear, said William. Yes, I had the most beautiful tiger stripes. And then <sighs> last night I went to sleep. <laughs> Lovely. And you know, when I woke up, they were gone. All of them. Oh, oh, oh tragedy. Ah, I can't find them anywhere. I'll help you look, said William. And we'll ask all the other animals, too. Can you help find his stripes? Soon all the birds and animals were looking for the missing stripes. Ah, I bet they're under here. Help us out. Stripes were nowhere to be found. I could just wish for some new stripes, William suggested. Yeah, oh, oh, that's not right. No, 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 oh no. Oh dear. Then they heard a monkey. I've got your stripes! They're not yours. Give them back, you stripe stripper. Then I'll have to show you how it feels, said William. Spots! No! The monkey was so surprised that he let the stripes slip. Oh, oh that's better, said the tiger. Sorry for teasing you! Everyone in the jungle was pleased the tiger had his stripes back. Ah, now you're a real stripey tiger, said William. Thanks to my wish, Wellingtons. William and his mother came back from a walk. The front door was locked. Where's my key? wondered William's mother. No, it's not here. Did I give it to you, William? No, replied William. Oh, it's a mystery then. What shall we do? If I was a great detective like Sherlock Holmes, I'd find it. He made a wish. Now all we need is a mystery to solve. Sherlock William, Dr. Bagshaw, cried the Duchess. I need you to solve a mystery. At your service, Duchess. No, last night I dined alone, then suddenly and most mysteriously, the candles blew out. No, all my silver, my knives, my forks and my candlesticks, they disappeared. Oh, can you find them? Hmm, elementary, my dear Duchess, said Sherlock William. The first step is to use this dust to find fingerprints. Oh, oh, here's a real mystery. These are footprints. Hmm. We must see if anyone has feet shaped like that. Oh, please put your foot in the ink. And then, onto the paper. You too, Dr. Barkshaw. Oh, no. Is mysterious. None of them match. Uh, the thief has clearly escaped, but Dr. Barkshaw will track him down. After him, Doctor! <coughs> ah, Barkshaw is certain he's in the garden. But there's nobody here. This mystery gets more and more mysterious. Sherlock William thought hard. Ah! Now let me see. To catch a clever thief, we need a trap. Yes. Everything that's been stolen was shiny. Hmm. Ah! A shiny box. Perfect. Yeah. Oh! Even better. A dancing monkey. Yes, this will solve the mystery if we leave it by the window. Ah! Gone! 
All we have to do is listen for the monkey. Uh, I hear it! There! In that bird's nest! And all the missing things! Ah! Careful! Got it! Of course I'm not cross! said the Duchess. I know you magpies love to take shiny things, so we'll put your nest back. Oh, thank you, Sherlock William. Back at home, William detected something that had fallen into his boot. It was the door key. Another mystery solved, thought William. It's elementary with Wish Wellingtons. William was on a school trip to a museum. The teacher showed them a picture of a chariot race in ancient Rome. Oh, that looks fun, thought William. I wonder what it was like in those days. And he made a wish. William was in ancient Rome. Where are they all going? Uh, oh. oh, it's the arena where they have the chariot races. I'm Superbus, chariot racer, fantasticibus. I'm so strong I've muscles on my muscles, Decibus. And you're a show-offibus, thought William as he looked for a way into the arena. William heard a lady's voice. Oh dear. It was the Emperor's mother. My chariot driver is ill. Who will help me win the big race? I will, said William. <laughs> you? Yes, I'll win the race for you. The chariot race was about to begin, and William drove to the starting line. The crowd was cheering. For Superbus. Yeah, they know I'll win. You're just weeny, weeny and weeny. <laughs> you good luck. The Emperor gave the signal for the race to start. Superbus roared off. William couldn't make his chariot move. Get up, get up. Oh, come on, please. So, he made a wish. Follow that carrot! <laughs> Superbus had already been round the track once. <laughs> oh, it's dust! I can't see! <laughs> William wished again for feather dusters. <laughs> oh, they're tickled! <laughs> oh, that's better! Look, more carrots! Superbus was a long way ahead, but he wanted to make sure he'd win. Yeah, crudest oilers will make the trap dangerous. <laughs> oh, 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 we're slipping, we're skidding. That's cheating. And I'm winning, <laughs> laughed Superbus. I'm glorious, splendiferous, victorious. William wished. Four? Oh, that looks yummy, but oh, delicious. <laughs> but Superbus ate so much, he fell asleep. Hooray for William! What? William, the winner! <laughs> it's not fair, Ebus. <laughs> the Emperor gave William the winner's crown. Everyone was delighted. Back at the museum, William's teacher showed the children a vase. You see, the winner looks just like William. And he's wearing Wish Wellingtons. William and his little cousin Winston were planting beans in the garden. Mm. 
we'll water them to make them grow, said William. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, we'll have to go inside. It was boring being indoors, but William had an idea and he made a wish. I'll tell you a story, Winston. Once upon a time, there was a magic bean plant and it grew and grew right up to the sky. Yeah! What happened then? Well, let's go into the book and find out. Now we are in the story. Oh, look at that! Wow, we can walk up it! Nearly at the top now. Look, a castle! William and Winston went to see who lived in the castle. Oh, everything in here is enormous. Yes, it must be a giant's castle. Yo, who's that? Hey. It's time to fill my tub. Yeah. Uh? Run! He wants to eat us! <laughs> Breakfast. Fee, fi, fo, fum. You're under the table. I'm not dumb. <laughs> oh. uh. Fi, fum, fo, fee. Owee! I know what you need, said William, making a wish. A crash helmet. Happy now? How can I be? I'm so big, I'm always hungry. Don't eat us. But I'm starving. Don't worry. William wished for a giant-sized meal. Fee, fi, fum, fee. Loads of goodies for my tea. Yeah, but that's not enough for tomorrow. I know. We need to grow something in your garden. Then you'll always have food. Yeah. Mm. So William and Winston showed the giant how to plant beans. Huh? No, that's not enough to feed a giant like me. Yes, it is. Fee, fi, fum, fo, they're magic beans. Now watch them grow. Five fo fum fee, why not come and have some tea? Thanks. We're having beans. <laughs> and they all had a giant bean feast. Thanks for tea. Goodbye. Oh boy. Look, it stopped raining, said Winston. Let's see if our beans have grown. Not yet, said William, but here's one I grew earlier. Oh, gardening's easy with Wish Wellingtons. It was bedtime and William's mother was reading him a story. A scary ghost story. Time to go to sleep now, she said. Good night, William. I'd like to see a ghost. A real ghost. <laughs> it wouldn't scare me. William knew what to do. He put on his wish wellingtons and made a wish. He was outside a mysterious old house. Now that's what I call a ghost house. Hello? Any ghosts at home? Hello? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, what's that? Oh no! <laughs> Do you want to see the ghost? Asked the owl. Yes, can you help me? 
If you woo, want me to woo this way. As they explored the house, William felt someone was watching him. <laughs> A ghost! There! William and the owl chased after the ghost. Oh! Oh! How do we follow him now? I know. A door. Come on, Owl. <laughs> Come back, Ghost. I want to see you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no, he's gone again. William wished for a hole and some stairs. Up here, Owl. We'll see him now. The ghost was looking for someone in the loft to hide. <laughs> He's too scared of you. Oh dear, he is. What do ghosts like? The same things as you. William wished... ...for a train set. Would you like to play trains with me? I am already, replied the ghost. Then it's a ghost train, laughed William. Why were you scared? Because of your boots. Oh, that's silly. You're the scary one. Am I scary like a slimy snake? No. Am I scary like a ferocious lion? No. Oh, am I scary at all? Asked the ghost. No, you're just different. <laughs> ah, let's be friends. The new friends played together. Ooh. Help, what's that? Did I scare you? Yes, laughed William. Back at home, William heard a noise outside his door. It was his mother. Still not asleep, she asked. Ghosts aren't real, you know. Don't be scared. Oh, I'm not anymore, thanks to my wish-wellingtons.